second solution um, in the first puzzle for Treasure Hunt. Now the second solution tests a slightly different set of skills to the first solution. So there's less scrambling of letters and there's more digging around on the internet. So if you look at the clue, it says, feel like you're staring at a brick wall yet? People forget that I was the real mastermind, but they can't get enough of my notable descendant. Maybe they're just confused, angry at religion. And then there's some numbers and then who is the notable descendant? So we're looking for someone's notable descendant. Now there's quite a lot to unpick in this clue and I deliberately crammed in um, more clues within it this time round. But as a starting point, feel like you're staring at a brick wall yet, just kind of looks like the sort of phrase that you'd have um, sort of general chat on these sort of things to see if people are starting to find it difficult. But you know, maybe there is a clue in there um, somewhere, staring at a brick wall, for example. And then this paragraph is a little bit confusing. So people forget that I was the real mastermind. So maybe there's some sort of, you know, kind of famous um, villain or, or plotter or something, but they can't get enough of my notable descendant. But then we're going to need to figure out someone's family tree by the looks of this. So instantly I'm starting to think there's going to be a pretty sizable Wikipedia portion of this clue. And then maybe they're just confused, comma, angry at religion. Now this um, stands out straight away from my perspective um, as someone who's a fan of cryptic crosswords because it looks very much like a cryptic crossword clue. Um, and we'll come back to that um, a little bit later on. So the first thing we need to do is figure out what the hell these numbers are. So if you look at the numbers, if you just, as always, copy them, stick them in Google, see what you get. Well, Google tries to do a calculation, which is not particularly helpful. Um, and you know, look, you get the Treasure Hunt website, but you don't get anything else. So, okay, fine. That's not very helpful. So the second thing is, well, they look like two different numbers. You've got a decimal point here, you've got a decimal point here, um, and you've got a negative sign there. So what happens if I put a space? Does that make any difference? Um, not really, but then I'm starting to get, you know, maybe I've got a link to something like Street View, Actually, yeah, these are starting to look a little bit more like coordinates, maybe, so latitude and longitude. And actually, coordinates tend to be separated with a comma. Um, and if you hit that, put the comma in, hit go on Google, it's going to take you to East London. So if we go into East London, just first of all, we start to have a look around. You know, there's not, it doesn't appear to be anything particularly um, interesting around there. So let's go back to our clue. Feel like you're staring at a brick wall yet. Okay, now that maybe that gets a little bit more interesting because what happens if we start having a look around on Google Street View? So if you click into this little picture on, on Google, it takes you to the Street View. And you've got this kind of classic East London street, have a have a whiz around. Oh, interesting. We've got a giant brick wall. It doesn't look very interesting. There's some bins and a, and a telephone box, but actually if we do stare at that brick wall, I mean, there is something there which may be interesting so if you if you zoom in to this plaque you can see it says the gunpowder plot and so that's particularly interesting i acknowledge this might be a difficult step for some people and i did drop some hints but um i think it's an interesting uh, kind of variation of a clue so straight away we've got a huge clue the gunpowder plot so if we go back to our original clue people forget that i was the real mastermind okay so Let's figure out what's going on with the gunpowder plot on Google. So type in the gunpowder plot, all the usual things, straight to our friend Wikipedia, and what does it say? Okay. So there's some sort of religious angle to it. Maybe that explains the religious part of the crew. Um, and then if we read on a little bit, so it says here, it was led by Robert Catesby. So when most people think of the gunpowder plot, they think of Guy Fawkes, right? So people forget that I was the real mastermind. Well, if people think Guy Fawkes was the mastermind, actually, it turns out Robert Caseby was the mastermind. Okay, interesting. Let's have a dig around in his Wikipedia profile. So straight away, we look at the contents page. And those of you who are familiar with Wikipedia will know that for a lot of celebrities or old-fashioned figures, they have this notable descendants column. So we hit that straight away and... Bob's your uncle, modern actor and producer Kit Harrington, aka Jon Snow from Game of Thrones, is a direct descendant of Robert Catesby. So we found our answer, Kit Harrington. And before I type it in, I think it's worth coming back to the last sentence in this clue, because I said earlier that 
it sounded like um, a cryptic crossword clue. And in cryptic crosswords, there are certain words that suggest that something is an anagram. And one of those words is confused or scrambled. Um, and so if you look at conf if you were to read this as a cryptic crossword clue, you'd be saying confused, angry at religion. So there's some sort of anagram going on here. And actually, if you do an anagram of angry at RE, that gives you Targaryen, which for any Game of Thrones fans would instantly um, instantly give you a hint that um, it was, spoiler alert, Kit Harrington, Jon Snow. So we go back to the clue. And now I always forget how to spell his name. So apologies. I think a few people had this issue. Kit Harrington, boom, done. You've solved the second clue.